The police. These people lost everything when Nigerian police bulldozed more than 1,500 homes in the town of Badagari back in December. Isa Omaniwa was one of them. The police say the state government gave them the land where the homes were built. They, just bring the caterpillar. they came with bulldozers and started shooting. It's only God that saved us. Some people died. We have nowhere to stay. We sleep outside. I am begging the whole world. Nigerian laws are not working. The world should come and rescue us. Many of the people evicted accuse the police of making an error. The community say their homes were destroyed by the police by mistake. And they've given us a copy of this eviction notice from the Nigerian police. It's addressed to the Agamoyo Agalade community, which is not this community. The eviction order is for a place several kilometers away from here. The man who sold the land to the people who were evicted says it was not given or sold to the police. We are the one that sold this land to all the landlords here. Yeah. That is why we are shocked when we heard that the police came from nowhere and come and demolish the, their property. But the police insist the land is theirs and they deny and anyone was killed the during the demolition. We can't move into any other land other than the land that was allocated to us. It's not possible. You, you, you can't step out of the boundary of your own land. We have a land, it's, it's clearly gazetted, it, it, it has, we've got all the necessary documents. The police say they do have the eviction order for the land where the demolition took place, but they could not produce it during our interview. Under the Land Use Act of 1978, the government was given the right to allocate any land to anyone. But traditional rulers and indigenous people say the land is still theirs and commonly sell it. But for now, people like Isa Omaniwa and the thousands of others who are displaced will have to go to court to try and prove their case. Yvonne Dege, Al Jazeera.